Hello everyone, Tarantula Dan here. I hope you're doing well today. So uh, this is my pre-Guatemala video where I'm going to be talking a little bit about where I'm going, what I hope to do out there, who I'm going with, and uh, just give you all a little bit of information of what's sort of going on at the moment. So uh, this Thursday, I'm flying out to Guatemala City to go off into the jungles with a few friends, I guess you could say. Uh, the one guy I'm going with is someone that many of you will know, and that is Lee from the Spider Shop. I'm going to be travelling with, around with him, which is fun. You know, really, I'm looking forward to that. As uh, a gentleman called uh, Michael, who I've never met before, but I believe he is a, uh, a you know, wonderful gentleman. He seems it from what I spoke to him about. He seems lovely. And of course, there is another gentleman called Martin Lees, who I've known for several years. Really, really fantastic guy uh, when it comes to tarantulas, you know, absolutely amazing. I believe he's bred 60 species of tarantula, so he's certainly someone that I hope I can learn an awful lot of. And if you're interested in following um, Martin and all of the stuff that he posts up, he has um, some social media, which I will put some information up here for his Facebook and down here for his Instagram. And there will be links in the description to both of uh, those pages so uh, yeah shout out to martin lee's tarantulas because uh yeah. his content's really really good he doesn't do youtube so if you want to follow him go over there and um you know give him a follow and check out his stuff he posts some really 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 good things uh, if you follow him like from today when this video goes up you can see what he's been doing at the moment he's actually in guatemala as i'm filming this um, and he's seen some really cool things so that'll give you an idea of what I'm hoping to film out there so go and check him out so yeah uh, going out to Guatemala with uh, Lee, Michael and Martin it's going to be fantastic we do have a um, a guide that we've sort of hired out there for uh, the equivalent of about $420 each for, for the time that we're there so um, although very expensive uh, to have the guide. Obviously, um, I believe he can speak the language and can hopefully negotiate sort of better prices at hotels and restaurants for us. And also, and the most important thing, he will keep us safe, which is hugely important going out there. Um, you know, I've been reading up on some of the dangers and having someone that knows the areas to keep us out of trouble is certainly something that uh, I'm more than happy to pay for. So uh, yeah. We are in good hands while we're out there. So what is it that we hope to achieve when we're out there? Well, I don't really know, in, in all honesty. Um, it's not like we have a textbook plan of this is what we've got to do. But uh, for me, I have done a couple of nature videos in the past. I did um, one by myself in the UK. I've done some with uh, Dan's Wildlife, um, going off around, you know, exploring England and going to a couple of places and filming that. Of course, when I went to, excuse me, when I went to Croatia with Petko, the dark den, uh, we went off into a forest and did like a, a nature wildlife video there, which my audience loved and his audience loved. Uh, probably one of the highlights of my trip was, of course, going there with Petko. And so when I was asked to go to Guatemala with these people who are, you know, they know what they're doing. Uh, I couldn't obviously pass that up and so this is where I need to really give a, a huge thank you to my patrons and PayPal supporters because without you I couldn't have funded the trip. It is that simple. Uh, so yeah, huge thank you to you. I will be posting pictures on my social media when I'm able to do so, on my Facebook and my Instagram, uh, which will be general, general animal pictures and pretty landscape pictures and things like that, but anything that is special. I will be posting purely to my Patreon page, and if I'm able to do so, I will try and do uh, you know a live video or something while I'm out there as well. I think that might be uh, pretty good to do a, a, a live Patreon only video, just to have a chat with you guys, show you where it is that I'm at, what I'm doing. So uh, hopefully uh, you'll be able to watch that. If you can't watch it when I'm filming it live, then you will be able to watch it once I've finished it. So um, that should hopefully be pretty cool. Uh, and so yeah, basically we're going to go out there and we're going to be landing in Guatemala City, travelling up towards Floors, uh, then going up towards Tikal, uh, which is the, uh, the Mayan ruins, and there's you know, various tarantulas out there, of course, Central American spiders, 
Uh, you've got you know, your Bracky Palmers, I believe there's um, the Chew Wagons um, is out there, which everyone loves the bee wagons, don't we, as hobbyists. And also, um, I believe there are some undescribed spiders out there. I do know the genus that they're from, but I'm not going to talk about that um, because ideally what we want to do is we want to find one of these undescribed species, um, which is going to be the dream, <laughs> pretty much. Um, I doubt I will be one to sort of discover anything while I'm out there, but if I can be with the people that do discover something out there, that would be um, that would be fantastic. That would be quite an experience. Uh, and so yeah, we're going to go off in in the vehicle into the jungle and look for animals. I say snakes, lizards, obviously, or the different sort of spiders. Um, I believe there are um, alligators or uh, what do you call them, caimans, um, and things out there. All kinds of wildlife. Uh, obviously, you've got all the birds out there and the mammals. It's such a diverse place for wildlife, and so of course, I'm taking all my camera stuff with me, and I'm going to try and get some really, really good content, which is really, really exciting. Now, the way I'm going to structure this, because I kept thinking, I've been thinking for a while, trying to plan this, how I'm going to do it, and I'm not going to just do one video on the trip because that is, uh, you know, I, I don't know, I don't think I can fit all of those days worth of footage into a 10 or 20, 15 minute video. And I also don't want the videos to be too long. So I'm going to be making this into the, um, you know, a Guatemala series, basically. And so I'm going to, my aim is to do a general kind of video, which is your usual YouTuber vlogging, looking at feet, camera out the window, traveling around um, and looking at sites kind of things without music. I will then, uh, look at doing a music over uh, video which those always seem to do quite well it's sort of similar to the show videos if you're not in the show video I'll put up some links in the description to the invert shows UK one so you can see what I mean if you've not seen that um, yeah, yeah footage match it to the music and uh, it flows nicely and people seem to enjoy it so I will be doing one of those but then what I want to try and do is do one video uh, per day so each day will be a different episode. So each day of filming will make one episode, which I can condense that down to say 10, 15 minutes, which so you can see in a, you know, a nice sort of uh, a look at what it is that I'm doing, of course. Um, and then the next episode will be like day two, then day three, day four, and then through all of those. And then at the end will be the, you know, the vlog, um, looking at the feet kind of stuff. Uh, and the music over ones, and then like a recap and things like that. I think that way I can make, more videos with the content that I have without having to cut loads out or having the episodes uh, sort of 30 minutes, 40 minutes. You know, this is a big trip. This has cost, um, you know, a couple of thousand pounds, um, you know, to go to. So I'm not going to just make one video out of this. I need to really sort of space them out and make them enjoyable. Uh, so that's the way I'm going to be doing it, which is very similar to how I'll be doing the African trip in August when I go to uh, Africa for a safari. So, yeah, I mean, that's a, 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 a quick sort of idea of um, how I'm going to be sort of structuring the, the content. And also by doing that, um, as I'm sort of staggering uh, those videos out, I've still got obviously all the videos here. I've still got to do the updates on the, on the reptiles, which if you have me on, uh, if you follow my YouTube story, I did a quick video, a uh, quick story of feeding all the reptiles. And of course I have the, uh, the some breeding things and the Celadonias. Um, you know, lots of sort of things going on with the animal collection that at the moment has just taken a bit of a back step because of this trying to get everything else planned for, for the trips coming up and I need to make sure I get it right. So uh, yeah, going to do Central America trips whilst also still doing the videos on all the animals and things like that. Of course, you've got the shows coming up, so you've got the BTS and all of the Invert Shows UK. Um, it's going to be quite busy so this is just a very quick video to sort of explain that and obviously uh, while I'm away there will not be any videos which won't be too much of a change because I haven't done that very like I haven't done many videos recently anyway uh, for different reasons whether it's feeling under the weather um, sort of over Christmas and through January February sort of time uh, also uh, planning for the trip and just genuinely being quite busy uh, so I've just taken a bit of a, a bit of a break and a bit of a time out but I think this holiday will kind of, I hope it will inject me with life and make me sort of ready to get back into sort of 
making videos um, as I did before, I guess. Um, and I'll come back, uh, you know, ready to go and get back to it, I guess. So yeah, there won't be any videos now, probably until uh, the 5th of March, which is Pancake Day. But what I might just do on that day is just do a live video, because that'll be the first week that I'm back off the trip and I can give you all a quick recap as to what happened while we were out there. And then, uh, you know, then I can start sort of editing the videos day by day, which would be much easier for me to manage and uh, start sort of staggering them out sort of every, maybe like once a week, do a different travel video or something like that. Um, I don't know, I'll have to sort of plan that depending on the footage of course. So yeah, that is basically my very, very quick video for my pre-Guatemalan travel. Uh, I'm really excited, just a few days left to go and that's it, then I'll be gone. I, I cannot wait. So of course, again, uh, shout out to, um, well shout out and thank you to uh, Lee, Michael and Martin and speaking of Martin he has the Facebook and the Instagram uh, please go and follow him on his social media I'm sure he would appreciate that to see what he's up to and like I said huge thank you to my patrons if you would like to support me there will be a link in the description to, to uh, do so and all of the funds do go to covering my expenses for trips basically um, which of course I do appreciate and of course I really really hope that you will enjoy my future content uh, I I can't express how excited I am for what's going to be coming up and I just hope that you will all stick around. So please feel free to, in the meantime, watch my other videos, my other content and feel free to share my videos. It does really help me. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, subscribe if you aren't already and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss my future videos. And with that said everyone, thank you for watching, take care and I'll see you soon in the next video. Goodbye from everyone.